Hello, good morning. Well, it's morning for you. It's afternoon for me. It is Tuesday afternoon. I'm in Maribone and I'm about to set off to Hyde Park, to the Serpentine in Hyde Park. So in London, there are various places you can swim in fresh water. Although saying the Serpentine is um, fresh is a little bit of an exaggeration. And I used to always swim there. I'm not going to swim there today because I've got lots and lots of work lined up and I don't want to get ill. Now that sounds a bit formidable, but I don't want to um, get a tummy upset or anything. Not that I'm saying that will happen in the Serpentine, but I'm not going to risk it. So I am going over there to meet my friend Angela. And every summer, Angela and I always have a look at the uh, pavilion at the Serpentine Gallery. So at the Serpentine in Hyde Park, you have the Lido where you can swim. You have a lovely cafeteria down at the lake. And then you have the Serpentine Art Gallery, which is permanent in Hyde Park. But in the summer, they build an architectural installation that's only there for the summer. It's free to enter and it's by a different architect every summer. So we're going to have a look at it. I think this one's a bit child friendly, which I'm, um, forgive me, I'm not Cruella de Vil, but the thought of children climbing everywhere, I, and it's the school holidays, usually they're really tranquil places where you can sit and think, but I have a feeling this one is built as a climbing frame. As so though children didn't have enough to entertain them as it is. I'm awful, don't hate me, don't hate me. Um, but anyway, we should really have gone when the kids had gone back to school, but I wanted to go because it's really warm today. I love driving through Hyde Park. Um, it's, uh, it's a privilege. I still can't believe we're allowed to, and I'm pretty sure very soon they will forbid it. But anyway, that's where I'm going, and I will see you in Hyde Park. Hopefully you've had a good week. Hopefully you're looking forward to this week's vlog. It's a, it's a bitty vlog this week because I have meetings every day and by the nature of the meetings, I can't take you. I should really, I should film secretly so that you get to see what these meetings are really about. But anyway, I am off to Hyde Park and it's beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in Marylebone. <laughs> London is in Hyde Park, certainly by the Serpentine. Um, it is packed. It is literally packed. Um, but it's rather lovely. This is the Princess Diana fountain. I don't know if you remember it. Um, there was a time when you weren't allowed in it. Well, let me just show you what it looks like now. It is packed. I remember when they once found some old nappies. Gosh, I can smell marijuana. Very strong smell of marijuana, and I don't know where that's coming from. Certainly not from my friend Angela, who I'm about to meet. Um, she's sitting on the bench. We're gonna go and have a cup of tea. Look at this sculpture. I got out of this hat from Provence. Provence days. A library of unread books. Mine would be huge. No, I do. Where's Angela? There she is with my hat. Wave, Ange. You're lit by a pink. I love this. Actually, this is a 
So that's that. Yes, this is very reminiscent to Worthing Pier. But that is the Serpentine Gallery, which is a constant gallery, and it's beautiful if you come here. But yeah, it's well worth coming. This is the best time of night to come into Hyde Park, really. It's beautiful. Don't judge me, please do not judge me. I have literally just washed my hair and I'm going to go out. I have a very busy day, but I wanted at this stage to show you this. This is not a collaboration. I have worked with Elizabeth 33 before, but this video is not sponsored by Elizabeth 33. Look at this. For years, I've used a plastic um, detangler and I don't think it was doing my hair any good. In fact, I was losing hair, I was pulling it out. This is a tortoise shell, um, wide combed comb, basically, and it's from Elizabeth 33. Do you remember? She is a tiny, tiny little business in uh, West London. She created the shampoo bar that is perfect. When I go traveling, this can go in my hand luggage. It is not a liquid. Um, and it's a beautiful. Everything she uses is sustainable and organic. And this has cloud berries um, because she's Swedish. Anyway, I'm gabbling. I've got to get on. I just wanted to show you this as I was doing my hair. So I've just washed my hair, but look how easy this goes. And any of you who have bleached hair like mine, you will know that it gets tangled very quickly. But this is so kind. There's no hair on it. Look, no hair has come out at all. And it comes in a lovely little pouch. So I just thought I'd show it to you because I really want to support her. She's such a lovely woman. Her name is Lisa. And if you look at her website, you'll, you'll know why she calls her brand Elizabeth 33. But um, what a great gift. But also, I just leave this in my handbag. I use this now, basically, as my hairbrush. But as a detangler, and designed in France. Anyway, that is it. I have such a busy day today. Meetings, meetings, meetings. How many meetings ever work out? I should do a vlog on that. How many meetings do I go to? And how much work do I get from meetings? And it's the same for all influencers. For ever going to a meeting, how many meetings actually pay off? I'll be honest, and I'll let you know at the end of this vlog, because I have two meetings this week. Myrtle. Myrtle and her awful, awful old, what are we calling this? A mess, basically, aren't we? Calling that a mess, yes. This is my purchase of the summer. Let me tell you about it. So I've shown you the um, sandals because I think it's really important to wear a flat sandal with this dress. This dress is from Maximara Weekend um, and it's their more affordable range. Um, it is really thick denim, really thick denim. It has, I'm going to put you down here, it has a bodice built in and this is what's so clever. If I put you here. So this isn't a collaboration, by the way. I paid for this um, and I cannot recommend it highly enough to anybody because the bodice means you're not doing all this. I can't stand people with strapless dresses pulling. It just sits, it doesn't move. You don't have to keep doing this because there's two zips. There's an inside zip and then another zip. It, on me, is maxi. On you, who are average height or taller it will come to mid calf and my friend bought one Eri she bought one she lives next door she bought one at the same time she's average height and it falls on her calf on me it falls on my ankle but I don't mind that I've not had to have it taken up I'm in a size six whoops sorry everybody they do I think up to a size 
14 or a 16. It is so cool. It's like, I love it. And I'm going, I am going to a meeting. Um, and I'm gonna wear this. I tell you why I'm wearing this to the meeting, because I'm going with a fashion brand um, and I want to look fashionable, but I also want to look really cool because it's summer and I just love it. And I love wearing these flat sandals with it. It's so simple. It's beautiful denim. And yeah, I will leave the link below. Not a collaboration at all. Don't think I've ever bought anything from Maximara Weekend before, um, but I'm very, very impressed. So there we go, now off to the meeting. Yes, a meeting. I might tell you about the meeting after the meeting. Good morning, look at these beautiful sunflowers. I'm going to Whitstable. I am so excited, I have never been to Whitstable before and um, it's on the Kent coast. For any of you who are not watching me in England, it's on the Kent coast and I usually go to the Sussex coast, which is Brighton. So I am taking them some sunflowers. We're having lunch with mutual friends in Whitstable, people who have a holiday house in Whitstable. So we're going there for lunch, taking, um, actually taking sunflowers for the people who are driving me. And guess what I'm taking for the hosts from Provence. Memories of Provence, a beautiful rosé. From Provence, my bag, my sunflowers. I'm resting my eyes, so when I rest my eyes, I just do a red lip. Um, and by the way, I'm having my hair cut next week because it's got so long. Dress from Theory. Fendi sunglasses. And off I go to Whitstable, a day at the beach. Very unlike me to be so spontaneous. So, I told you we were having a day at the seaside in Whitstable. And I am with two people who by separation are very familiar. So you're very familiar with Susie and Flora. And this is Susie's sister who's behind me and her brother-in-law who are all, they're like my extended family. So I have known, we've known each other 40 years, more than 40 years, 50 years. We've known each other 50 years. Anyway, the deal was, they don't mind me referring to them, but they're not coming on the vlog unless they do. They might do by the time you get there, but um, do you know the luxury of actually being driven? I'm never driven anywhere. It's so nice, especially in a... What car is this, Neil? It's an Audi A3, Joe. <laughs> it's an Audi A3. <laughs> and very comfortable, everybody. Uh, highly recommended. Um, so, yes, we're on the M2 and we're heading to Whitstable. And then we're having lunch with two people who I've also known a great time. These people I see a lot of and we have fantastic times together. I don't usually vlog them because they are not the sort of people that show off like me. I'm not showing any faces. These are very close friends, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not showing faces, and I'm not recording our oh, conversation. Oh, oh, look at the oh my that's just arrived. God, <gasps> quail's eggs! I love I quail's eggs. Oh and my, celery what sauce a, on the table. How am, am I allowed to film your face, Richard? Yes, you are. Here we are. This is Richard <laughs> Barber. <laughs> Loads of you will recognise Richard. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Thank you, and look. And this is just the starter. This is just the starter, and this is, everyone, this is as good as Provence. And look, 
at the garden. I'm not giving the address. We don't want you having crowds of um, middle-aged Minx fans turning up. <laughs> So this is an exclusive, everybody. This red lipstick. First of all, does anyone guess the casing? Can anyone see that? I haven't got my glasses on, so you may not. This is Pat McGrath, that I'm not familiar with, actually. This color red is beautiful. I love a red lip, as you know, and it's got a blue undertone and not an orange undertone. But more important, why is this particular lipstick so important and so spectacular. This brand, this color is worn by Taylor Swift. This was the very last one in the country in Selfridges. And my hostess, the mistress of the red lip, purchased it. So everybody, if you want to know what color Yes, please. Patty, can I ask you to read out what shade that is? Because my eyes are too bad. Well, actually, this I is an exclusive. Got my, has anyone got their glasses? So this is on? what happens. We I've haven't. Got my glasses here. Mm. It says Elson 003, I think. Can you just check? That? Not snappy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they edited out. I can confirm that. Yeah. Elson. Elson. I thought Elson made lavatory. 003. Elson. Elson. So, it's, yeah. it's yeah. Pat McGrath, Elson, zero, treble three, for the perfect red lip. You heard it here first. <laughs> Did you have a nice day? Did you have a nice day with Sandra? Did you have a nice day, Myrtle? Oh my gosh, I am back. This is Marylebone at night. I'm back from Whitstable, oh my gosh. Black through, back through the Blackwall Tunnel. What a day. De I love, I could live in Whitstable. I love it. Beautiful whitewashed leather, not leather, weatherboard cottages. Just beautiful. Um, it is now 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to take Myrtle out very quickly, although she doesn't want to go. Then I'm going to have a peppermint tea, I think and some chocolate and then I'm going to start editing this vlog before I send it to Philippe to do a proper edit because we're very behind this week on the vlogs. Aren't we Mert? Please I'm home Mert. Myrtle, you please I'm home, you've got your antler. Oh it's gone fuzzy. It's not that warm. Here's Mel everybody. Even though it's fuzzy, Mel gets lots of compliments. Actually, Hello. you see how fuzzy this is? It's blurry. What's it's because Why? What have you done? the temperature. What do you what? mean? Because no. as it warms up. You need to wipe up, your lens. No, it's not this. You sure? It will, get, it will suddenly get into view <laughs> as the temperature, because okay. it's, it's cold out and we were warm. Is that better? I can't see without no, my glasses. No, it's still a bit blurry. This is Mel. Uh, uh, Mel so keeps blurry. getting comments about how good looking he is. Well. So there he is, that's Mel. <laughs> and here's the star. Star. That taxi Hello. seems bigger. Uh, yeah. That's Doesn't it? It looks huge. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Why are you wearing a nighty? I'm wearing a maxi dress. <laughs> this is my... Is Look, can you like... let everybody see what I'm wearing? Yeah. Hold that. I'm wearing, <laughs> this is Rixo. Right, do a twirl. <laughs> do the famous, the, the famous Minx twirl. This is the Minx. I'm wearing. You look like my five-year-old, my five-year-old granddaughter. <laughs> God, thank you. I'm probably the height of your five-year-old. It's a Rixo dress. By the way, oh, I've lost my BBC pass. I had all these questions last week. Oh yeah. About, can you, can um, Dave please give us uh, <laughs> a the twirl history? In his no, almost the history of all his tattoos. Oh God. No, we all... haven't got time. We'll be here all night. We'll be here all night. But all I can say is, I mean, I only can see some of them, but yeah. Betty White is on his body. You've only seen a quarter of them. I, um, they're all over my back, chest, and everywhere. So, you, but so, they've never so been, they've never been exposed. Are they on your back and your chest? Oh yes, everywhere. 
You're so not like the sort of person who would have tattoos. I know. Well, it was a, it, it, it's I so unca It's so not his character. I did it in a, in a bad flurry. I did the whole lot in, like, in six months. You and must have been in agony in six months. No, I didn't hurt at all. I just got on with it. But I mean, I kind of regret it now a bit. But anyway, there I was done now. Nothing to so do about it. So just give run us few through a few that we can see in the light. Betty, show me Betty White. Mm, where's Bannock? Be De Devil devilish Betty White. Devilish Betty Demonic White. Demonic Betty White. Oh, actually, this lighting's quite good. Albert Einstein just above her, with a theory, with a theory of, of relativity underneath his eye. Look, if you look closely, you can see the theory. Did you choose these? You see, oh. oh yeah, I chose them all, yeah. Ziggy Stardust. Oh, you got Ziggy Stardust. Oh, yeah. wow. Robert yeah. Elms would be pleased with that. Yeah, look at the eyebrows. I mean, yeah. the, the eyelashes, rather. Every, each eyelash that's is That's off in, the album. Done. Yeah, that, sorry? That's off the album. Oh, and then, the Aladdin Zane cover, yeah. Yeah, the, and then that's, that's the one I, that always makes me feel a bit... That's Salvador Dali. Oh, that's Dali, but what's yeah. the crab? Crab? It's a spider. Oh, it's a spider. Well, that's ma 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 that, it's that Are one. they match? Yeah, that's the husband, that's the wife, or, or, or the other Did way Did you around. have all these done by others. the same person? All done by the same man, yeah. Jimi Hendrix. And was this in, in America? Frankenstein. Yeah, all in Los Angeles. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Um, and who's jo that? Johnny Cash. Oh, Johnny Cash. Uh, I wish you... Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, God, they do go on. Hey, yeah. is there any chance you could get Johnny Depp? I love Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Well, actually, I've got room for one more, and he's just doing Freddie Mercury. Oh, yeah. I don't want Freddie Mercury. No, no. But, um, Johnny Depp yeah, there. Well, oh, go on. That would be good. No, he's not. He's not. He's not kitchen of me. I like. I like really obscure kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's why I like, like Frankenstein. Like Napoleon Dynamite is there. Oh wow! And my favourite is Charles. What from the Man from Uncle? No, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, I thought you. Were. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of so yeah yeah so, so um, David McCann, yeah, yeah, yeah no for the movie my favourite though is Charles Hawtrey for the Carry On films. Oh, he lived in Deal. Deal, yes, I went yeah. and I went to see him in No Sex Piece where British at the Margate at the Dreamland Theatre in Margate. And that yeah, that's Charles Hawtrey. Charles Hawtrey, right? So there you go, everybody. I said I'd try and get him to show some, and, I, and never did I. Oh, there's <laughs> Jalem. Jalem is a fan. Yeah. Jalem, who watches the vlog. It's Jalem's last night. Oh. I know. Jalem, we'll see you soon. We'll Take care. You. Bye. Yes. Jalem works on my show. Right. Bye. I'm going to get him. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's so... Dave the cabbie, you see, everybody knows you. I know. She was one that photograph last year. Mel yeah, took it and you couldn't do it properly. That's right. She did. I went to Whitstable this week. Oh, I spent my... I grew up there in Whitstable. I love Whitstable. I grew up in Whitstable. I absolutely love it. I went and had lunch with friends. Oh, we'll get in the cab and I'll talk about it. Right. Can did I... Did you know that, by the way? Eh? Do you know I grew up in No, Whitstable? but now I'm I going to I grew up there. I went to school there. I'm going to talk to you all about it because I loved it. Yeah, they're oysters. Yeah, we had yeah. oysters. We went round the key dead man's corner, yeah. which we're, uh, it's on the vlog. You must watch the vlog. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go um, and um, I'm going to say goodbye. Dave's going to say goodbye. Please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Leave a comment because we both read all of them. Yeah. And um, I don't know if there's any walking people. There probably are because it's the school holidays. Walking people past Carnaby Street. And we will see you, Dave and I, next Sunday. I'm now going to talk about Whitstable. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.